In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ogre 1.9 on Ubuntu 18.04. To start out, let's go ahead and open up the terminal by pressing Ctrl-Alt-T all together on our keyboard. Now that my terminal is open, I'm going to increase the font size. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and install the dependencies. If you look in the description down below, you should see the list of those. And once you've copied them to your clipboard, you're going to want to hold Control shift v all together. And you should see the long list of dependencies like this. And then just press Enter. It's going to ask you for a password. And then it should start installing. All right, once installing your dependencies has finished, let's go ahead and start building and installing Ogre. To start out, let's go ahead and navigate to our downloads folder by typing change directory or cd tilde forward slash downloads. Next, we're gonna use the Mercurial Distributed Revision Control tool to retrieve the Ogre source code. To do that, type hg clone https colon forward slash forward slash bitbucket.org forward slash sinbad forward slash ogre forward slash. All right, once the download has finished, we could type list to show that ogre now exists in our directory. Now let's go ahead and navigate into that folder by typing change directory ogre. Now that we're here, let's use Mercurial to downgrade our project to a working copy of Ogre version 1.9 from the Sinbad repositories. To do that, type hg update v1-9. Next, let's go ahead and make a build directory by typing make directory and we're going to name it build and we're also going to include the command change directory into the build folder that we create and then finally we're going to stage the cmake and then we're going to specify one directory backwards all right once that finishes let's go ahead and determine how many cores your computer has so we can maximize the build performance to do that, type grep dash c hat processor forward slash proc forward slash cpu info. Since I'm using a virtual machine to simulate this Ubuntu, I only have one core, but most computers should have four to eight cores, and even high performance computers may have 12. So whatever number this provides you with, let's go ahead and start the build by typing make j to specify the cores, and then just take this number and plug it in right here. Finally, once the build has finished, let's go ahead and install the Ogre content into your system directories. So we'll use sudo make install for that. Okay, at this point you can see where the install directories are. <laughs> 
So take note of that. Now let's go ahead and check if the install worked properly by navigating to the binaries folder. And once we're here, let's go ahead and run the sample browser. And you should see a window that pops up looking like this. And you're going to click and hold over the select one and click on the rendering system. And then you can set these settings to how you like. And then I'm going to click accept. Now you should finally see Ogre is running. Now that Ogre is installed on the system, we don't quite need these folders anymore. You can remove them by typing sudo remove recursively Ogre. But if you still want to use the sample browser, then just skip this step. Now, if we list out, we should see nothing exists in our downloads.